But you're going to have to give me something. But I need your local address and I need a photo ID mm -hmm. to attach to this as well. Okay. Okay? You know, I know what happened in my office. But you're going to have to give me something. But I need your local address and I need a photo ID mm -hmm. to attach to this as well. Okay. Okay? And I wanted to say it in his presence as to actually what happened. But you're going to have to give me something. But I need your local address and I need a photo ID mm -hmm. to attach to this as well. Okay. Okay? And he also alleges that she promised to keep that information confidential, but thereafter shared it with that information with other people. Now, who is going to get the copy of my ID? That is kept in a personal file. In in a file, all of the information, just like yours, mm -hmm. is kept confidential. Okay. It's kept confidentially in this office. Okay. Senior Assistant Attorney General Stephen Ritter responded to Mr. Perry's letter and stated that although the Open Records Act did not require or demand production of an address or telephone number, it was the Attorney General's office policy whenever they receive an open records request that they request that information. Um, to satisfy the request. You're telling me that you went in to get records and they're telling you they have to have a photo ID? Yes, ma'am. And that's the policy of this office? And they stated emphatically that it was the policy of the Attorney General's office to require um, that same information. That is absolutely false. And, and certainly they should not be telling anybody that that's a, a policy of ours because We've never told anybody that. Okay. It's Sheila, and my last name is Guider, G-U-I-D-E-R. I'm very protective. I do not like scandals. Believe me, I'm the Attorney General is my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't do you. I, I'm, not, I'm not going to jail for nobody.